Top 10 Tourist Attractions in Egypt Egypt is famous for its ancient civilization and some of the world's most famous monuments, including the Giza Pyramids, the Great Sphinx and the ancient temples of Luxor dating back thousands of years. Although focus of most tourist visits remains the great monuments along the Nile, possibilities for Egyptian travel also includes snorkeling and diving along the Red Sea coast. Other tourist attractions in Egypt include camel trips into the mountains of Sinai, tours to remote oases or visits to the Coptic monasteries of the eastern desert. Giza Necropolis The Giza Pyramid Complex, also called the Giza Necropolis, is the site on the Giza Plateau in Greater Cairo, Egypt that includes the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Pyramid of Kaffa, and the Pyramid of Menkoyur along with their associated pyramid complexes and the Great Sphinx of Giza. All were built during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom of Ancient Egypt. The site also includes several cemeteries and the remains of a workers' village. The site is at the edges of the Western Desert, approximately 9 kilometers west of the Nile River in the city of Giza, and about 13 kilometers southwest of the city center of Cairo. The Great Pyramid and the Pyramid of Kaf are the largest pyramids built in ancient Egypt, and they have historically been common as emblems of ancient Egypt in the Western imagination. They were popularized in Hellenistic times when the Great Pyramid was listed by Antipater of Sidon as one of the Seven Wonders of the World. It is by far the oldest of the ancient wonders and the only one still in existence. Number 2 Karnak Karnak is the modern-day name for the ancient site of the Temple of Ammon in Thebes, Egypt. The Egyptians called the site Nesuptoe, Throne of the Two Lands. Ipatai Z, the finest of seats as well as Iptes WT, selected spot also given as Ipatsat, the most selective places. The original name has to do with the ancient Egyptian belief that Thebes was the first city founded on the primordial mound which rose from the waters of chaos at the beginning of the world. At that time, the creator god Atom, sometimes Ta or Ra, stood on the mound to begin the work of creation. The site of the temple was thought to be this original ground and the temple was raised at this spot for that reason. Karnak is believed to have been an ancient observatory as well as a place of worship where the god Ammon would interact directly with the people of Earth. Number 3 Red Sea Reef The Red Sea, off the coast of Egypt, is one of the most beautiful places in the world to go diving. The waters of the Red Sea are renowned for their spectacular visibility and features some of the most exotic seascapes. With its wide expanse of coral formation on the reefs, it is home to thousands of different sea creatures. Red Sea Beach resorts are located on both sides of the sea, on the east side and part of the Sinai Peninsula is the long-established Sharm El Sheikh and its neo-hippie counterpart, Dahab. On the west coast of the Red Sea lies relative the old and touristy Hergada and a cluster of new resort towns. Number 4 River Nile Cruise Cruising the Nile is a popular way of visiting Upper Egypt. The Nile River has been Egypt's lifeline since ancient times and there is no better way to trace the passage of Egypt's history than to follow the course of the Nile. Almost all Egyptian cruise ships travel the Luxor Aswan route which is safe, scenic and terminates at two of Egypt's most important towns. Taking a Filaka down the Nile is an adventurous option. Filakas are sailboats that have been used on the Nile since antiquity. A Filaka is not quite as comfortable as a luxury cruise ship but nothing can beat sailing in a quiet rig that was designed thousands of years ago. Number 5 Valley of the Kings The Valley of the Kings near Luxor is a valley where, for a period of nearly 500 years from the 16th to 11th century BC, tombs were constructed for the kings and privileged nobles of the new kingdom. The valley contains 63 tombs and chambers, ranging in size from a simple pit to a complex tomb with over 120 chambers. The royal tombs are decorated with scenes from Egyptian mythology and give clues to the beliefs and funerary rituals of the period. 
All of the tombs seem to have been opened and robbed in antiquity except for the famous tomb of Tutankhamun. Number 6 Abu Simbel Abu Simbel is an archaeological site comprising two massive rock-cut temples in southern Egypt on the western bank of Lake Nasser. The twin temples were originally carved out of the mountainside during the reign of Pharaoh Ramesses as the Great in the 13th century BC, as a lasting monument to himself and his queen Nefertari. The complex was relocated in its entirety in the 1960s, when the temples were threatened by submersion in Lake Nasser, due to the construction of the Aswan High Dam. Abu Simbel remains one of Egypt's top tourist attractions. Number 7 Egyptian Museum Home to at least 120,000 items of ancient Egyptian antiquities, the Egyptian Museum is one of Cairo's top attractions. There are two main floors of the museum, the ground floor, and the first floor. On the ground floor, there is an extensive collection of papyrus and coins used in by the ancient Egyptians. On the first floor, there are artifacts from the final two dynasties of ancient Egypt and also many artifacts taken from the Valley of the Kings. Highlights include the objects from the tomb of Tutankhamun and the royal mummy room containing 27 royal mummies from Pharaonic times. Number 8 Siwa Oasis Located in the Libyan desert, Siwa Oasis is one of Egypt's isolated settlements, with 23,000 people, mostly ethnic Berbers. Located on an old date trade route, Siwa was an oasis vital to the trade route, as the natural springs and shade-giving palm trees gave travelers respite from the desert. With the collapse of the Roman Empire, Siwa began its decline. In recent decades tourism has become a vital source of income. Much attention has been given to creating hotels that use local materials and play on local styles. Number 9 Dahab Dahab is located some 85 kilometers, 53 miles, north of Sharm El Sheikh on the Gulf of Aqaba, near the southern tip of Sinai. Once an isolated coastal village, Dahab turned into a hippie hangout in the 1980s and became something of an alternative resort, mixing cheap accommodation with a laid-back lifestyle. Activities such as windsurfing, snorkeling, scuba diving and camel and jeep trips make it one of the most popular destinations along the Red Sea. Number 10 Mosque of Ibn Tulan Built between 876 and 879 AD, the Mosque of Ibn Tulun is one of the oldest mosques in Cairo. It was commissioned by Ahmad Ibn Tulun, the Abbasid governor of Egypt. The mosque is constructed around a courtyard, with one covered hall on each of the four sides. The minaret, which features a helical outer staircase similar to that of the famous minaret in Samarra, was probably built several centuries later. Parts of the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me were filmed at the Mosque of Ibn Tulun. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.